The last topic I want to cover in this set of videos is solving in terms of other variables. So in these next problems, you'll notice that we have more than one variable, but we're going to solve for a single variable. So we'll treat the other variables as if they were just numbers. We'll just move them all to the other side and solve for the one variable that we're interested in. If you have multiple variables in the equation, we can solve for that for one of them. So for example, I gave you the equation f equals 9 fifths c plus 32. This is the equation to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. However, if we wanted to, we could solve for c, allowing us to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we take our equation, f equals 9 fifths c plus 32. We want to start with the least complications, the start from the outside and work in. So we subtract from 32 from both sides, which gives us 9 fifths c equals f minus 32. We then can multiply both sides by 5 ninths, and we get c equals 5 ninths times the quantity f minus 32, which is the formula for plugging in degrees Fahrenheit and solving for degrees Celsius. And that is your final answer. We're simply rearranging these equations. You don't have to actually find a numeric value for c. Now that you've seen that one, try example three on your own. In each of these three equations, solve for the indicated variable. Pause the video, try these individually first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, in example A, we have P equals 2L plus 2W. This is actually your formula for perimeter of a rectangle. But we're going to solve for L. So first things first, we want to move the 2w term over. This gives us 2l equals p minus 2w. Now we want to divide both sides by 2. So we're left with l equals p minus 2w all over 2. Make special note, these 2's do not cancel. For them to cancel, you would have to have a 2 in front of the p as well. So we're going to leave it just as is. That's our final answer. Okay, how about example b? We are given c equals 2 pi r, which is the formula for the circumference of a circle. But we want to solve for r. We'll start by dividing both sides by 2 pi. And that gives us r equals circumference divided by 2 pi. Lastly, in example c, we're given s equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. This, if you remember, is the formula for the surface area of a cylinder because the 2 pi r squared is the area of the t bottom and top circle and 2 pi r h is the area of the side. So basically the label that wraps around the can. Alright, we notice that r is only in this far right term so we're going to subtract 2 pi r squared to the other side This gives us 2 pi r h equals s minus 2 pi r squared. And now we can divide both sides by 2 pi r. We're left with h equals s minus 2 pi r squared all over 2 pi r. Again, notice the 2 pi r's do not cancel because it's not present in both terms in the numerator which makes this our final answer. H equals the quantity S minus 2 pi r squared all over 2 pi r.